Alright, what is going on everybody? Today I am back here with I believe episode 5 now of the Arizona Cardinals Connected Franchise here on Madden NFL 18. In this episode we will be finishing up season number 2, or really the first season, um, as we are in week 13 right now. I'm going to read some of the comments out as it, um, as whatever, uh, that, that you guys put in the last video. So, Octanio Gaming said, move Golden to end. I know a bunch of people said, do not put Golden in the middle. It's kind of wasting his his talent. So, that's fine with me, I guess. Um, I really wanted to have Redick on the outside. But we can we can put Gold, uh, Golden back on the outside um, as our, what is he? Would be a left outside linebacker, I would hope. Um, and then we'll put and then we'll put Redick in the middle because that's what people seem to be keen on. Um, so, yeah, Re a Golden out there. And then we'll put Redick. Redick. I don't really want to put Redick on the line because he, he doesn't really have that good ratings. But we'll, we can try to slide him in at middle linebacker for now. And then we can see what we want to do in the offseason with him next year. Pre uh, I don't know what his overall is going to be. He was a 77, so let's see if he goes down drastically. Uh, he goes down to a 73. Not very good. Not uh, A part of me kind of wants to put uh, uh, Nikim DJ or Kim DJ at the tackle. He's 6'4", almost 300. He's got... 70 finesse, 70 power move. What would I? What would he be if I moved him to D tackle? If I can move Kamdiche to D tackle, because if he's a good D tackle, I might try to move Golden or Redick to a D end, and it would kind of fix everything up. But we'll see here in a moment what he is um, as a D tackle. So um, let's go to depth chart here, and then we're gonna see what he'll be um, at D tackle. So let's go here to D tackle. Uh, Kamdiche would be a 76. What was he, a 77? What, what is he, a right end? 77. So he only goes down one overall. You know what, we're going to try to play him at the end of the year, and you guys can definitely let me know what I should do in the comments below. So right end, if I moved, say, we put Golden there, and then we put, yeah, Golden there. Oh, my God. Okay, hold on. Um, Hold on. I got to figure this out. So left outside linebacker is going to be, say we moved Redick there, and then we went to... Right end, and and then we put Golden there, and then D tackle instead of Peters, who uh, might be I don't know if his contract's up, but we might want to move on from him. And then we put Kim DJ there. We could try this out. I don't know if you guys are gonna like that, but I would I kind of want because I don't want to waste the Redick. I I don't want to put him in the middle linebacker, and he goes down to a seventy three, which is not good at all. So let's see what happens if I okay Kim DJ there. Yeah, perfect. Uh, middle linebacker two. We're gonna keep it as. We're going to put it at CJ Gillespie, the rookie, and let me move Redick back outside to left outside linebacker. And yeah, like I said, we're going to be finishing up the season today. Uh, hopefully, we lose a decent amount of games so we can kind of help out our draft position or our draft stock so we, then we can get a higher pick. So yeah, this is what we're going to try to roll with with the rest of the year. Um, offense, yeah, I guess Juice Santa we can go for. So let's advance. Actually, let's scout. Uh, I... Did a lot of, like, we have done a lot of scouting so far, so we could just keep scouting out tackles, maybe. Um, nothing too special here. What about some right tackles? Um, yeah, nothing special, looks like. So, hey, let's keep advancing here to the next season. Um, there we go. Let's go to the next season. Next season, the next week, excuse me, I can't speak. Um, did we pick up the win? Nope, we lost 31-21 to the Packers, which... It's fine by me. And I think we played the Chiefs next week instead. Yeah, we got the Chiefs, Seahawks, Raiders. So hopefully we go 0-4 in the remaining four weeks, but we'll see. So did Santa play well? Hoyer played, I guess. Stanton got hurt or benched. I don't know. But Rodgers played pretty efficient. Uh, David Johnson, once again, hopefully next year we can give him more carries. Receiving Eric Decker, good game. Same with Fitz. We can see what Jones got in the end zone. Uh, blocking. Humphreys, two sacks. Colin at one. Defense. Anyone get a sack? One for Kim DJ at D tackle. Okay, okay. Maybe he's making me look good. Moving him there. Maybe it was a smart decision. I don't know. But let's keep advancing here. Um, we're taking on the Chiefs. But first, we'll scout. Obviously, don't want to waste those points. But, yeah. So, let's go to scouting college players. I hope in Madden 19. I think they're going to do it. Because I know they're going to try to do a big overhaul for Madden next year. They better have... You can import draft classes next year. That better be a thing. Like, if that's not... Like... 
I hope they never make a Madden again after that point. Because I would just be so, like, that's the one thing all of us want in Madden. Is just so you can import a draft class so we can get, like, some, like, people that are out there. Like, people that do it in 2K. That will make it Josh Allen. That will make Lamar Jackson. That will make Josh Rosen. Then you can just import. Like, that can make a Saquon Barkley or something like that. Like, I hope that they do it. But, hey, we'll see. Um, what they end up doing. 4-9, let's go. We picked up the L. That's fine by me. If we can go 4-12, that would be ideal. But I think we have one more division game against the Seahawks. I don't know if it's on the road. Yeah, it is. Okay, we have... Wow, we went on a five-game road trip? Holy crap. Well, the five out of our first six games were at home. And then we're ending the season on a five-game road trip. And then we head to Washington. Or we're home against Washington for the last game of the season. So, player stats in this game. Alex Smith played pretty well. Drew Stanton wasn't terrible. Need, why did three quarterbacks play at one point? I couldn't tell you. There we go. I wish David Johnson still got more carries because he averaged 6.2. Give him more carries. Receiving Decker, 7 for 85. Fitz for 4 for 45. Um, wow, the rookie gave up four sacks. Okay. Uh, defense. Ooh, who had two, sack, uh, two sacks for Chandler Jones. Francis Hobson, the rookie, is sack. Bethel and Kandice. Okay, so Kandice is a sack and a half in two games. We haven't gotten a pick in a couple games, it looks like. Uh, Chandler Jones forced uh, a forced fumble. Or forced a fumble. And he recovered it. So Chandler Jones had two sacks and a force fumble. It's probably like a strip sack or something like that. So he played very well in that game against the Chiefs, even though we picked up the L, mainly because we don't have a quarterback. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not going to probably sign Fitz till the offseason. So let's just keep going here. Um, I guess we can scout out these ends just because we'll be there. Do we have two first round picks now, right? I, feel like, I thought we did. We have two second round picks. Um, and whoever we traded with is bad because it's going to give us the second pick in the second round, which is basically going to be like a first on pick. So let's just keep scouting out some old linemen. Um, what centers? I don't, I don't think I'm going to draft the first on center, even though Andy Rambo and Carter had, had some look pretty freaking good, but let's advance here. Last game against, I think, a division opponent this year. Then we have the Raiders, and then we have the Redskins. So, against the Seahawks, please lose. Don't win. No, we win. We dropped 45 on one of the better defenses in the NFL. How? How? Okay, so our peak, we could win is seven games. I hope we don't win seven games. I pray we don't. Six is... It's bad, it's good, bad but it's kind of good. But two standing, two touchdowns, one pick. We finally got a pick on Wilson. Barkley, it looks like, threw a pass. Okay, maybe it was like a fake or something. David Johnson, 22 carries, 114 yards, and a touchdown. I will take it from him. Uh, definitely want to get a better backup next year. T.J. Logan hasn't done much. J.J. Nelson, great game from him. Pretty much it from the receiving game. Sacks. No sacks? Okay, by the O-line. Uh, Marcus Golden, two sacks. Chandler Jones, one. Reddick, one. That's what I'm talking about. Who got the pick? Jamon Williams. Let's go. Any forced fumbles? One from Corey Peters, and he recovered it. Okay, Corey. Maybe he's trying to show out that he shouldn't have been benched, but he's up there in age. I don't know if he's a free agent. If he is, I'm probably not going to bring him back anyway. So we got two more weeks. Uh, two 5-9 and nine teams. We're on the road, so hopefully it's an L. Uh, let's look at some safeties. Um, I don't think I'm going to cut Tyron Matthew. I think somebody mentioned that in the comments because that's what might happen in real life to the... Uh, the Cardinals, they might cut him because he needs a pay cut or, or he would have to take a pay cut. I don't think we're going to cut him. Um, if anything, we might trade him because I know some team will definitely take value for him. So let's advance here to week 17, which the, these are the last two weeks, and we'll see what happens. Please give us an L. I don't want to win. I don't want to win. I don't want to win. And we you lose. Let's go. We lost. I'll take it. We lost by seven, so we lost 35-28. So the defense didn't do that well against Derek Carr. Hey, if, if it's just the offense showdown, we'll see how the defense did. If we got maybe like a sack or two, a fumble, and a pick, I'll be happy. So did we get a pick on Derek Carr? We did not. Oh, uh, Brian Hoyer threw the pick. Drew Stanton played fairly well. He actually played really well. We sacked Derek Carr five times. Damn. Another great yards per carry for David Johnson. Logan did pretty well. Lynch, we actually held Lynch pretty good. Um, receiving fits in one of his last games as well. Same with David Johnson, the receiving game. J.J. Nelson did well. Ricky Seals-Jones, five catches. Sacks, two for Collinette, one for Humphreys. Um, 11 tackles for Gillespie, 10 for Buchanan. Uh, we had five sacks, or two, three, four, five. Yep, Kim DJ got one, Jones, Buchanan, and two for Marcus Golden. Does that mean Golden has four sacks in the past two games? Okay, okay, Marcus Golden. I see you, I see you. Uh, maybe, yeah, I definitely shouldn't have put him in middle linebacker. So, last game here against the Redskins. I'm praying we lose. I don't know if it's going to happen. We, I think you can check what pick we are right here. We're at nine. That's not very good because there was that corner I wanted. And I feel like he's going to go top five. So, maybe we could trade up for him. Ibrahim Pickett. 
but we'll see. We'll see. Ah, we really need to take an L this game. There was no really good middle linebackers here. This guy's not bad, Jared Gooden. Um, we can maybe look at some outside linebackers. Eh, not looking too good. Um, let's look at some right ends, maybe. Uh, if we would want to move these to outside, I don't know. Delaware State guy. Okay, so last game of the year. And then we'll go over stats, awards, and then I'll do everything like off signing or free agency, the draft, and the re signings in the next video. So, last week of the year, please, we need an L. We need to take this L. We need to take this L. No, we won. God damn it. Oh, we're going to have like the 10th pick, and I don't think Ibrahim Pickett's going to fall to us. I'm going to have to trade up if I want him. Damn it. What was the score of our game? We won by 7, 35, 28. Ugh. Rip, rip. Um, three touchdowns, zero picks for Stanton. Ah, he played well. David Johnson, fairly well. KJ Nelson, oh my god. He is trying to show why he should be back next year. Um, DJ Humphreys, two sacks. Did we get a pick? Yep, I think Antoine Bethea got a pick. We had a couple sacks. One for Jones, one for Reddick, and picks, one for Bethea. So I can probably go over this for like 10 more minutes, and then I have class. Um, it's currently 7 o'clock on a, what's today? Today's the Wednesday, so yeah, I have, I have class um, at 7.55, and it's 6.55. So I got to leave in like 10 minutes. So um, we'll advance here. Actually, no, we'll, we'll just see the stats. So end of the season, we had like a quarterback carousel, so... Drew Stanton was definitely our best option this year. He played better than Hoyer. Yeah, 10 touchdowns and 2 picks. Hoyer and Subfield, both 7 touchdowns, 5 picks. Hey, if you actually add these guys up, that's like almost 4,000 passing yards. That's not bad. Because what? You have 6 to add. That's probably, say this is like 2,300. 2,300. That's like 3,900 yards. 3,900 yards, 24 touchdowns, 12 picks. That's not bad. That is not bad at all from the 3 quarterbacks combined. Um, and if you're wondering if you just joined late in this series, yeah, Palmer didn't retire, so I put his salary to zero, and I benched him, and I made him 40, so hopefully he does retire. David Johnson, great season, wish he got more carries, but maybe uh, it'll be next year, but an uh, excellent season from him. Uh, receiving, J.J. Nelson got over 1,000 yards, let's go, fits at 800, Decker, 80 catches, Seals Jones, didn't really start most of the year, so hopefully he does better next year. Blocking, I'm scared to look at Humphreys, and, uh 19, 11 for the other right tackle spot. Ah, uh, God, but at least Comella and uh, our starting center, O'Connell, played well this year. And only one sack or six for, uh, that's not really good. So defensive side of things, Jones on the team in tackles. Who, who led the team in sacks? 11 and a half for Kim DJ. Okay. Seven for Reddick. Six and a half for Jones. Four and a half for Golden, who also did play some middle linebacker. Two for Buchanan. Two for Morrow. Only one and a half for our first round pick, Nick Darden. And one for Buda Baker. One for Peters. Uh, Peters. One for Hobson, half for uh, Pat Pete. Pat Pete, I think, led our team in interceptions. He had four, Tremont Williams had two, and then a bunch of guys had one. So, that is going to be it for stats. Now, let's look at yearly awards. I don't think we had anybody in MVP. The Broncos rookie quarterback, but I'm guessing he's a quarterback, was up there. Sean Watson, Ben. Coach of the year, don't think we're going to see Bruce Arian. So, NFC, let's look at. Um, offensive player of the year, will we see maybe David Johnson? Yep, at nine, okay. Defensive player of the year. Uh, nobody. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Would we have anybody that would be here? I don't think so. Yeah. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Nick Darden was hurt, so I doubt we'll see him. Yeah, no... Ah, CJ Gillespie made it a 10. Okay. But yeah, no Nick Darden. Uh, best QB. Yeah, we're not going to be in there. Best running back. David Johnson should be top five. Number three behind Latavius Murray and Zeke. Best receiver. Will JJ Nelson slide in here? No, he does not. Best lineman. I don't think we're going to see anyone. Best D lineman. We could maybe see somebody. Nope. Uh, best linebacker. Chandler Jones should definitely be here. Okay. Sleeping on Chandler Jones. Best DB. Well, Pat Pete. No Pat Pete. Okay. Um, and our kicker, Harrison Bucker, gets number 10. Okay. So we really didn't bring home any awards this year, which is oh, which is okay. Um, I guess we can see who wins the Super Bowl. So let's just go to the offseason here. Um, I don't really care about... Actually, we can see who made it to the Pro Bowl. So I'll see you guys with who made it to the Pro Bowl. All right, guys. So I'm going to check with who won the, or who from our team made it to the Pro Bowl. Hopefully, we got somebody. I'm guessing David Johnson. Yep. David Johnson made it. Um, I thought that was going to say J.J. Nelson, but it's Jordy. Um, I think David Johnson might be our only offensive player. Yeah. Only offensive player. Will he be our only player in general? Oh, no. He, oh, Chandler Jones made it. So David Johnson, Chandler Jones. Uh, and that's it. So... Yeah, that is going to be it for me, I think, for the video. I'm just going to see. 
I don't know who's in the Super Bowl, we could see. But, yeah, I don't know if we should, like, Chandler Jones, you guys gotta let me know, should I maybe trade Chandler Jones? Like, look at a Chandler Jones, he is, let's see how old he is, because will he regress, he's an 89, he's 29, if you guys think maybe he's not part of the future, we can try to get a late first for him, let me know in the comments. Um, who is in the Super Bowl, I don't know, it's this week, but we got some scouting points, so let me just, uh, uh scout, we'll just scout some first out talent, so we'll sign Christian Willis, um, sure, Ragnold Hagler, um, Derek John, wow, that can't be any more generic than that name, Dixon Bull. oh my god, he looks like a beast, uh, maybe with their second round pick, it's like a, uh, we don't need a running back, so it doesn't really make sense. Um, let's got this guy. He looks really good as a left guard. Um, that guy sucks. A bunch of linebackers and running back. So, uh, Landon Parker looks good from Pitt. And, yes, so let's just see who wins the Super Bowl, and then that will be it for me. So, simulating one week of the Super Bowl. Um, it said John Sullivan was a really good corner on the bottom left. So, next uh, next video will be the offseason where we can maybe turn this team to a playoff contender next year. Where we can maybe eye, like, ten wins compared to six this year. Six wins this year for a QB carousel like that. And the O-line, the Torrentus O-line we had is pretty good. I'll take it, so. Um, oh, my God. The Browns won the Super Bowl? What? The Browns beat the Falcons in the Super Bowl? No way. I wish you guys could see my facial reaction right now. Holy crap. The Browns won the Super Bowl after getting a first round bye. They won 29-23. Who's their quarterback? Is it Kaiser? Rookie Riley Coyle, who throws three picks, and they still win. Stepan Kolklau, their rookie running back. Who's their receivers? Coleman? Long Grant? Okay, they must have... And Pierce, well, they must have aced this draft class. Holy crap, they won. The Browns... And some guy gave them three sacks? How did they win? I don't know, but uh, Garrett was good. They uh, went to Merciless, Trevon Coley. Okay. Anyone get a pick? Jason McCourty. Wow, the Browns won the Super Bowl. Okay, so you know in this series, anything can happen. So yeah, that is going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm going to try to sign a quarterback in free agency if one is there for us. If not, we'll probably look to the draft. But even if there's nobody in the draft, we'll just look to maybe roll with you standing next year. I don't know, but we'll see. I don't want to overspend on a free agent. Oh, and Fitz retired. There goes Fitz, and I think Brian Hoyer retired. Uh, not Brian Hoyer, Carson Palmer, but salute Fitz. Thank you for coming out one more year. So that's going to be for me. Thank you all for, for watching. Actually, no, maybe Fitz did retire, and he's just here in free agency. No, nah, Fitz retired. So, yeah, that is going to be for me. Let me know who I should bring back here. Should we bring back Logan Thomas, Brian Hoyer, Andy Lee, uh, Nate Sunfeld, Marquise Williams, uh, Marcus Golden. Should we bring back Dion Buchanan, Garrett Reynolds, DJ Humphreys, Felder here, JJ Nelson. Let me know in the comments below. So let me know everything I should do. Who should I sign? What position should I sign? What position should I draft? Who I should re-sign? Who I should trade? Let me know. So that's going to be for me. Thank you for watching. Let's see if this video get over 200 likes. And I'll see you guys next video. Peace.